How I won back part-time work by following my employer's attendance policy. I suffer with chronic pain. Currently investigating the possibility of endometriosis. My employer had been very helpful and kind with reasonable adjustments up until recently. I had been working part-time as walking is now so difficult that I use crutches and it's impossible. For me to complete my full 9 hours without a flare-up that will take me days to recover from. I returned to work after a surgery and they blindsided me and told me I must go back to full-time. As it's unfair on the rest of the workers. That they've bent over backwards for me. Which they have to do by law. And I really did not ask for much. And my health should be totally fine now that I've had a surgery. So. I followed protocol and received a sick note from the doctor that suggested part-time hours to prevent flare-ups and time off. They refused. I did one full shift and then could not turn up to work. On UK sick notes if the section, maybe fit for work, is ticked and the employer cannot fulfill those suggestions of adjustments you are automatically considered unfit for work in the sick note remains valid. This is stated on the sick note itself and on the ACAS website. A site and helpline that discloses employee rights in the UK. I emailed about this and explained and asked if they would consider the sick note valid. They told me I would need a new sick note. They just wanted a sick note that said I was outright unfit for work to cover their asses as they knew there was absolutely no reason to refuse part-time when I had already been doing it with no issues. I called in every day as protocol required. But the voicemail system for calling in was disabled. So I was unable to. I sent them links and screenshots to the ACAS website. But the lady I was emailing refused to read them. I was told that the company must follow the attendance policy. I was asked rudely if I had read it. I explained that nowhere in the attendance policy does it mention this kind of situation. Just that I would need the note. And I had already supplied the note. I also asked what their reasons were to refuse these adjustments under the Equality Act 2010. This is similar to the US's ADA. Under this I am considered disabled as I have had a condition that has impacted my daily life for over 12 months. And this email was completely ignored. I received a call from HR yesterday. And I was asked if I could definitely return to work under part-time hours and if I would not have to go home due to flare-ups. I told them yes and explained that without the crutches I struggled to complete the week at part-time. But with them I can do this with no problem. Full-time even with the crutches flares me up to the point where I am still recovering from that. Full shift I did last Monday. She accepted this and told me I could resume work on Monday at part-time hours and she would let the lady I was emailing know that this is the case now. They wanted me to follow the attendance policy. So I did. It just didn't work out the way they wanted it to. I call that checkmate. I know full well they are trying to push me out. And I'm okay with that as this job is now a drain on my mental health with the way they have spoken to me and treated me. However, being the petty bitch I am I will be making it extremely difficult for them and causing as much strife for them as they have for me. All according to the law and their policies. Of course. A friend of mine in the UK had to go through a very similar thing with partial inability to work and the person handling it at the company being, shall we say, actively unhelpful. They worked it out eventually. Getting things right and all worked out in my friend's favor. Through sticking to their guns and following the rules by the letter. Go you. And may this work out in your favor sooner rather than later. If you've been stubborn enough to get the life dealing with your chronic health condition, why do they think you won't be stubborn enough to outlast their attempts to get you to quit? Good for you. I hate it when employers pull this petty power-tripping BS and it hurts good employees like yourself. 
I would still look into legal consequences for them as well though BC it sounds like they willfully were violating the law. Good for you. If possible do print out, keep a folder saved of all the emails and conversations you've had so as to have proof of their non-compliance when you were clearly doing things right. It'll help you if you decide to file for discrimination, violation of labor laws. I had a note after I had COVID that said, please allow patient to use Rollator. Walker with a little seat. For breaks for 4x weeks while they recover from COVID-19. One of the managers got a bee up his ass about it for some reason and tried to argue that the note meant I could only use the rollator on break. Why would I need it on break? There are chairs on break. That's what break is for. The whole situation got crazy and I ended up quitting and just walking out. I couldn't handle that miserable place anymore. I am asking these questions to make sure you prepare for repercussions. Is part-time work defined? Could the company schedule you 9 hours Monday, 9 hours Tuesday, 9 hours Wednesday and then be done for the week? Could you handle the worst part-time schedule they throw at you? I have to assume you've been working there for more than two years otherwise they'd just have kicked you out the door with any old excuse. Good luck! If you have a paper trail, your version of the EEOC should be able to assist in any litigation. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. Ugh. Sorry to hear they've been such jackasses. Ah. Unfair on other workers, is the biggest red flag ever that they're just doing indirect. Discrimination. Along with, we have to treat everyone the same to ensure everything is fair. I am in awe. Proud of you internet stranger for sticking to your guns and not taking it lying down. You will make better HR personnel out of them by making them walk through fire for you. This capitalist hellhole is waging a systematic war on both the poor and the disabled and you have my full support in fighting back. Create as much legal molasses as you can preferably by the dump truck load, and not just the regular dump trucks. I mean the ones that they use in mining operations that haul 500 tons of material at a time. That's a lot of tasty molasses. Strife away. It's got to be magical to work in a place where workers have rights instead of loose guidelines that employers exploit. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.